Hi, my name's Ross, and today we're going to be learning all about mining for tin. Tin has been a treasure for humans since ancient times, and we're going to discover how today's miners are using cutting-edge technology and teamwork to unearth this valuable metal. Tin is used in every electrical device as solder, which connects the electrical components together. Without tin, our gadgets wouldn't work. Cornwall has some of the richest deposits of tin in the world, but mining stopped here in the 90s due to market prices. Now tin is in more demand than ever. Mines like South Crofty are planning to reopen. Here in Cornwall, we have a rich history of tin mining, and thanks to advances in modern technology, it has a pretty bright future too. It may even be an area of interest that you wish to work in in the future. Let's meet some of the fascinating people working within the tin mining industry and find out a little bit more about their jobs. Hi, I'm Jodie and I'm the Stakeholder Engagement Coordinator here at Cornish Metals. I work with local businesses and the community to explain what it is that we're doing here at South Crofty and why it's so important for the future of Cornwall. Let's take a look around and find out more. Cornish Metals are working towards opening South Crofty as a fully working tin mine once again. The mine has been flooded since it closed 25 years ago. Our first job is to dewater it so we can repair and use the tunnels that take us deep underground. We are pumping out 25,000 cubic litres of water every day. That's equivalent to 10 Olympic sized swimming pools. We clean it in our state of the art water treatment plant and then release it into the Red River where it flows out to the sea at Gudrivi without causing any damage to our environment. Let's meet Steve, who is committed to bringing the last working tin mine in Europe back to life. Hi, I'm Steve and I'm the mine manager at South Crofty Tin Mine. The main focus of my job is ensuring that South Crofty is a safe place for people to work. I also spend a lot of time doing the design work and engineering behind a lot of the projects. So we do some pretty cool heavy engineering. Our dewatering pumps are fairly sizeable. Our winding engines, the head frame, all the infrastructure down the mine is some pretty cool stuff. I suppose I got into mining because of my family history, um, working in the mining industry in this area. And also it's just something that's all around you. So when you grow up in Cornwall, you'll see remnants of the historical mining industry all over the place. I also vividly remember seeing South Crofty close when I was a child. And I remember there was a lot of people that were very upset. So I wanted to make sure that the minerals that were beneath our feet here and the tin that's down there can be got out and be used to make this area, you know, a better place. We are on track to reopen the mine by the end of 2026. And as we continue to grow, there'll be more and more job opportunities for young and ambitious people in Cornwall. In fact, there'll be nearly 300 jobs, including miners, mechanics, electricians, fitters, engineers, accountants, administration staff, and geologists. There's a huge variety of people and skills we'll need to make up our expert team who will get over 65,000 tonnes of Cornish tin out of the ground. Tin is malleable and ductile, which means it can be flattened and stretched without breaking. These qualities are what makes tin so useful and is often used to make cans, glass, and protective coating for other metals. Tin can be recycled over and over without losing its quality and is more in demand than ever for new technologies such as electric cars, renewable energies, power storage and personal electronics. Because of this high demand, we are being really careful to mine much more sustainably than we did in the past. For example, using specialist X-ray scanners, so we only pull up material containing lots of tin and save on energy. We're also making sure our waste material goes back underground into empty mine spaces so that we don't disrupt the landscape. In the UK, we are aiming to be net carbon zero by 2050 and South Crofty will play a huge role in helping us lead our modern lives without damaging our planet any further. Let's meet Naomi and find out a bit more about her job. Hi, I'm Naomi and I'm a mining engineer at Cornish Metals. Now for my job, I design ventilation networks of the mine and this is how the air is moving around the tunnels to provide clean, fresh air to the workers. I also do geotechnical analysis where I check that all the rocks are stable and aren't at risk of falling down. The other fun thing I do is blast design. And this is where we blow up the rocks, which are mineralized with tin, so we can extract them and remove the tin. Let's go look around. Before we go underground, we need to go get kitted up. 
first we need our hard hat, so if any rocks fall, our heads are protected. And we also need a lamp so we can see in the dark. We're also going to take this gas monitor with us, so if there's any dangerous gases, we can be alerted. And the final thing we're going to take with us is a self-rescuer, which will provide us with oxygen if there's any gas or fire underground and we need to escape the mine. Let's go. I have to use lots of skills in my job, and these include maths, problem solving, and planning. Now, I got into mining by doing work experience here at South Crofty Mine, and I enjoyed it so much that I went to the Camborn School of Mines to study mining engineering. The best part about my job is going underground and blasting the rocks. And we do this so we can extract the minerals which are contained within the rocks, which at South Crofty Mine is tin, and then this tin can be taken from the rock and be processed into tin metal. Okay, fire! To work in an underground environment in a mine is like nothing else, it's like no other job. The teamwork and the bond that you have with the people that you work with, that's one of the best bits of the job. Um, and then just being able to work with pretty cool equipment, pretty cool machinery. Um, yeah, it's, it's certainly not a boring job, it's never dull, um, and it's a great industry to be involved with. Thanks to everyone for sharing their work with us. Are there any jobs you might like to do in the future? Tin mining isn't just part of our Cornish heritage, it is a key part of our future. From solar panels to electric cars, tin plays a vital role in our transition to green energy. And right here in Cornwall is the best place to be if you're interested in this exciting industry.